Okay, so of course, first we've got to snip off little pieces of parts, and I did that across the whole model. And if we look here, something oh, it's still not really fitting together well, oh, need to sand it. So I'm doing a, basically a rough sand, seeing that looks pretty good, and now it's time for a little bit of glue, and I am happy with it, but it's still not perfect. So let's see. Yep, that fits in well. Let's use some epoxy sculpt. It's uh, it's an epoxy. You mix the two together, and you can sort of push it into the joint. And, you know, since this is a sort of rough surface, I didn't have to go too crazy, but you can smooth it out with your finger and, and wet it, and it works really well. So what I'm doing here is I'm just blocking in uh, some of the stone. There's a bunch of different pieces, parts here, and I'm going to put some more time into this base than I usually do on bases because there's so much stuff. There's so much things going on, and I want to differentiate them. So all the gray's done. I did the bell a brass color, did some of the wood, and now I'm going to work on the steeple, which I'm doing sort of like um, old looking sort of terracotta reddish uh, with some brown and then a little nice gold steeple cross there. And some of these needed some, you know, double coats, but mostly not because of uh, the Vallejo paint. So there we go. Put together, we're going to put some more detail on this a little bit later on, a little bit more weathering. But so far, I am pretty happy with how that's turned out. Now it's glue time. We're going to put the legs on and I try to do this as quickly as possible because how this is set up, the legs are on and then I needed to put the uh, sort of loincloth on and I forgot to do the buckle. So I took them off quickly and I re-put them on all at once. This way you know it's going to fit together with something like this. Glued on the arms. Glued on Goliath's Mighty Mullet, which is kind of funny looking, but uh, once it's on, it works. Uh, tail time. Get the tail on. I am so happy with how this thing is going together. And I'm putting some uh, glue there uh, quite a bit because this is such a big space. And then you want to make sure you're, you're putting it back together in how the modeler did it. I end up breaking off the pegs a lot because I find that they don't fit after printing due to just, you know, expansion or just, you know, tolerances. Now, after I was done, I realized I am not happy with the color. I look, Glide's really more purplish blue. So what I did was I went ahead and repainted the whole body with this purpley color. Then I went in and did the hair with a dry brush and a little bit of blue. And now I'm going through the sort of um, bony pieces of the wings to really sort of have them stand out a little bit more with highlighted colors, uh, a lighter blue, a lighter purple. And now I'm gluing those wings on. At first, I thought the size was a little bit off, but man, once it's all together, it just looks so crazy sharp. I am so happy with it. Now it's time to really highlight the muscle and get that muscular to, to sort of pop. And here, just like usual, uh, a fairly dry brush with a lighter version of the, the color that he's painted. And I'm hitting the highlights, the high points, the highest points of the muscle to make them stand out against the lower tone. Now, a lot of times I would then go through with a darker tone to really darken up the creases, uh, but I didn't want to go too dark with them. I wanted them to be kind of light and a little bit of brightness to it. So I just did the highlights and the muscles. Then I went ahead and did the highlights on the loincloth to make that really stand out. Lastly, I took some of the Army Strong and hit the base. And you can see how it really just fills in those cracks and crevices. Like, look at this rock. It just fills in the cracks and crevices and really gives it depth. Now, I've already painted the highlights on the rock using like a whitish gray. But those uh, Army... Um, those army washes just really give everything a lot of depth by filling in those creases. And then I thought, you know what? I got some of this stuff because I'm fooling around with some sort of model bases to so make them a little fancier. These are used for model trains and stuff. They're little tufts of grass and moss. And I put those things on and I really like it. I'm going to use this kind of stuff a lot, lot more. And there he is. There is Goliath from the Gargoyles cartoon. 
I am super, super happy with this model, how it turned out. I think Michael Rodriguez did a great job. Make sure you check out his files in the links below. It looks really cool.